Do you know the birth of red blood cells? The process of formation of red blood cells is called erythropoiesis. It occurs in bone marrow mainly in adults. Factors influencing erythropoiesis. Hypoxia in higher altitudes. Erythropoietin from renal cortex. Hormones such as testosterone and cortisols. Vitamin B12 and folic acid for its maturation. Bone marrow contains stem cells which differentiates into proerythroblast. Proerythroblast has large nucleus. Hemoglobin starts to synthesis. Stains deep basophilic. Increased mitosis rate. Then proerythroblast differentiates into early normoblast. Early normoblast has large nucleus. Chromatin strand becomes thicker. Hemoglobin is absent. Stains basophilic. Increased mitosis rate. Then early normoblast differentiates into intermediate nomoblast. Intermediate normoblast. Nucleus becomes condensed. Hemoglobin is visible. Stains both acidophilic and basophilic. Undergoes mitosis. Then intermediate normoblast differentiates into late normoblast. Late normoblast. Has smaller nucleus. Raised hemoglobin level. Stains acidophilic does not undergo mitosis and nucleus disappears. Then late normoblast differentiates into reticulocyte. Reticulocyte. Remnants of RNA appears as reticulum in the cytoplasm. Hence the name reticulocyte. Nucleus is absent. Appears as supravital stain that is brilliant crystal blue. Further raised hemoglobin level. Stains acidophilic. Does not undergo mitosis. Then reticulocyte differentiates into matured RBC. Thus formed red blood cells enters the circulation as shown earlier.